The game's future stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on the show. It's the first game in the month of July between the Albuquerque Isotopes and the Tacoma Rainiers. Stepping in, Jonathan Daza. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Down low, two balls and a strike. And this will miss as well. So he's in danger of losing the leadoff man here tonight. It's three and one now. And he lays off ball four, and the leadoff man is on to begin the ball game. Coming to the plate now, Eric Stamets. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Full count, three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Here's Chris Owings now. He drove in the other of their two runs last night. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Daza leads off first with one away. One two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Now a throw over, and he just manages to get his hand in. Fouled off. Fastball well outside. Got to execute a good pitch right here. Runner at first is probably going to be on the move, and you got one of the better hitters on their team up at the plate. Liner towards second, and that'll get down for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Batting fourth, the first baseman. Michael Tolia to the plate now. Michael Tolia, nope. two and one. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Grounded down the third baseline. The two two. Mike Gerber will be next. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Rodriguez is there. Two down. Coming to the plate now, Mike Gerber. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Payoff pitch on its way. This is hit the other way out toward left field. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Settling in now, Edgar De La Cruz. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now the 2-1. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. So here in the first inning, the leadoff man's aboard to kick things off. The second baseman. Got it. Standing in now, Donnie Walton. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. That is third. The center fielder. John Thompson Williams. At the plate, Dom Thompson Williams. And it's fouled away. Runners at second and third here. Nobody out. Fouled away. Here he comes again. One, two. Oh, look at that stop. The flip will take care of him at first. Not exactly crisis averted on the mound just yet, but a big first out nonetheless. The third baseman. Digging in. Jake Shiner. He'll get to take his first cuts here. 
One and two now as that one's fouled off. Second and third here, one man out. And the curveball bounces here, but a good job behind the plate to keep it at arm's length. Just hung in there on that one. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Hit hard up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. At the plate now, Dylan Moore. Can't catch the corner away with the fastball. It's two and one. Grounded back up the middle. One there. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Stepping into the box, Colton Welker took an 0 for 4 in the victory last night. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Colton Welker goes down to become the first out here in the second inning. And he fouls this one off. Bases are empty, one man out. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. Stepping into the box, Willie Abreu. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Count is one and two now. Looking to set down the side on strikes. Here it comes. Bases are empty here with two men out. Right side. Fielded cleanly. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll bring up Alan Hansen. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. Fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning into the box Jared Kelnick is back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game and I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes he did it's ruled a strike just out in front of that one still two and two. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Julio Rodriguez waits on deck. Fouled off. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Gonna be a tough play. On to first, and a good stretch over there is gonna get him by a step for the second out. Coming to the plate now, Julio Rodriguez, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. One and two now. Hey, I got to really commend this pitcher right here. Was able to regroup in between innings. Something happened in the dugout because he's on point coming out for the second. Two out, nobody on. And another foul ball. Trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Stepping up to the plate, Peter Mooney comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. The 2-1. Looked at for ball three. 
Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. And here's a curveball looked at. Strike three called, and that's the first out of the inning. The left fielder, number two. Digging in for his second Jonathan. at bat, Jonathan Daza. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Oh, and a half swing there on a pitch out of the zone. Indeed, it's strike two. And this is swung on and missed. His fifth strikeout already, and there are two gone in the inning. Digging in to try it again, Eric Stamets. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. To short. He's got it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Bottom of the third now, and now it'll be the catcher, Joe Hudson. Here's the pitch. Liner towards second, but this will be gloved out there at second as he didn't have far to go for the out. Now to the plate now is the designated hitter, Edgar De La Cruz. He reached on a single in his first try. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you could certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. Now back, second baseman, Johnny. So now to the plate, Donnie Walton. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. Now a throw over to first, and he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Here's the 2 1 home. To 2 and 2 now. Runner at first here, one man out. Outside and a full count, 3 and 2. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3 2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four, anyways. And he misses with that one for ball four. So that'll put runners on first and second now with one away. Line towards center field. Gerber is there. Two gone. Riding in once again. Jake Shiner. Two on, two out for him here in the third. Now the one and one pitch. In the dirt here. Runners may have thought about it, but they'll stay put, and the count moves to two and one. And he comes back with a pitch right down the middle for strike two. Even though it's early on in this one, anytime you get runners in scoring position, you'd like to knock them in. And the throw is in time. It's a strikeout, and the play at first goes two to three for good measure as the inning is over. All set for the start of the fourth. And next to bat, it'll be Chris Owings. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stands at number four. Michael Colia. Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire, so it's ball four. Now, now to the plate, the Mike field. Gerber. He flew Mike. out in his last at bat. Here's the one and one pitch. And this is on the ground is short. Could be two. There's one. On to first, and they turn the double play. So stepping in, Colton now Welker. Bad. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Two outs here with a runner at third. Well struck, but foul over by the coaching box. The one-two. 
is laid off for ball two. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Good slider there, but laid off and called the ball low. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. And this one bounds around against the wall. Throw to second, but he's in there. As they also push across his score to make it a one-run game. In now, Drew Butera. This ball will be chopped foul. Two out here and a runner at second. High in the air out towards shallow right. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Bottom of the inning now, and here comes the first baseman, Dylan Moore. Fastball close, but he didn't get it two and one. Weak rounder back to the mound. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Alan Hansen, the next to bat. 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. You know, Matty, tough to go down looking right there, especially in a long at bat. I kind of tip my hat to the fact that he didn't go into uber swing mode. He battled. He just got locked up. Look for him to have another quality A-B. I think he's seeing the ball pretty darn big right now. The count now at two and two. Breaking ball, and he gets him to chase it in the dirt. Butera gathers, and he makes the throw to first. Henson is retired. Two down now. Digging in, Jared Kelnick. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Daza is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Willie Abreu. And a half swing here, but he pretty clearly went around, and it's one and two now. Hit weakly back to the mound. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Digging in now, Peter Mooney. But he got called out on strikes his last time through. Fifth inning, two to one our score. And a slider gets away from him here as it just about got him in the ankle. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Liner in there for a base hit. The left fielder, number two, Jonathan Daza. To the plate now, Jonathan Daza. Line to the right side. In there, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now that designated hitter, Eric. Into the box Stamets. now, Eric Stamets. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. The one two. Line drive to left. And that's in there. Base hit. And they'll quickly get it in here to hold that runner at third base. Into the box, Chris Owings. Weak grounder down the line at third. And he's out on the tag. But we do have a tie ball game now with a run scoring on the play. 
Michael. Next will be the cleanup Tolia. hitter, Michael Tolia. Here's the payoff pitch. Hit hard down the line. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Payoff pitch on its way. He pops him up toward the left side of the infield. Henson has got it, and the side is retired. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and digging in is the outfielder, Julio Rodriguez. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Liner towards second, but an atom ball right to him for the first down. So digging in now, Joe Hudson hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last AB. He hit that ball on the screws. One out, nobody on. Lifted down the line and left. And no one will get this one. The one two. Down the third baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Hey, three foul balls in a row right here, searching for that put away stuff. Now a half swing, but it's strike three anyway, says the home plate umpire. And that's out number two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. It's been more than two innings since this guy's allowed anyone to reach base. He looks pretty unbeatable on the bump right now. The 2-2. Two -two. It's a fine line from working down in the zone on two and two and bouncing one in there that basically stands no chance of getting swung at. Right there, he basically spiked that one right into the dirt and now he has to find the zone on a 3 2 pitch. Now back, second baseman. Throw over to first and the runner back in standing. Hits are even right now at five aside. At the plate, Donnie Walton. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Now the 2-1. Swing, and he popped him up. Over in foul territory, back behind third. Welker is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. Justice Sheffield takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 33. At the plate, Mike Gerber. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Inside here with the hard stuff, and it's 2 and 1 now. Just missed with that heater, but even if he wanted to swing, I don't think he could have caught up to that one. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. A bouncer up the middle, reined in. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Now with the plate, Colton Welker. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Fly ball out toward left center field. Thompson Williams is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Now Stepping in, Drew Butera. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. One and one, here it comes. Nope, that's bad. Two out, nobody on. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here. Three and one. High in the air out towards shallow right. Rodriguez is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. Tim Melville enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 46. Tim 
Bottom of the sixth inning now. And next will be a speed threat in the form of outfielder Dom Thompson Williams. And that misses two and one. Ground ball foul down the left side. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Lined into left center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Now batting. Third baseman. Good. Stepping in now, Jake Shiner. Three balls. Slider misses, and he's in danger of losing him here. Three and one. Not a good spot to be in right now. A pitcher's falling behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. Inside with the fastball, and he works the base on ball. First and second here with nobody out. Hit down the line at first. And that's a fair ball as it's through into right field. The runner scores from second. Standing in now, Alan Henson drilled on the ground to short. The second for one, and the tag gets him. But a run is in to score away from the play. Now batting. Standing in, Jared Kelnick. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Now the one and one pitch. It is a fastball down below the knees. Bases are empty here with two men out. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. The 2 2. In the air down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Now another 2 2. Man, that's one of those. How could you not swing at that one? A good take there on that pitch. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulder. Side retired. Striding into the box, Willie Abreu. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. The one-two. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. Into the box now. Peter Mooney. He singled his last time up. Peter Mooney. Hit back up the middle. And very quickly there. They're two gone to start the inning. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in. Jonathan Daza. A hit in two tries so far. 1-1 one, one home is looked at off the plate for a ball. Slow roller down the third baseline, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Now the pitch. Didn't miss by much there, but it's just a bit high. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Another full count pitch home. Locks him up for strike three. Last half of the seventh here, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Julio Rodriguez. The one two is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike three. Now at the plate, Joe Hudson. He lined out his first time around and then went down on strikes last time up. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Check swing, no swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. Wow, that pitch wasn't even close, and he almost chased it. If I'm the pitcher, I'm going to expand the zone even more on the next one. A 
Buck got him on the good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. Now the Striding forward now is the D.H. Edgar De La Cruz. He's looking to go four for four with a base hit right here. Line towards center field. And that's another base hit for him. He's on a tear in this one. So on a full count pitch, he's able to get on base and keep the inning going. The second base hit. So with a left-handed hitter waiting, they'll go to their own left-hander out of the bullpen. In now, Donnie Walton. Fastball called strike. One and two. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Oh, and they've got him picked off. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Ladies Matt McGill has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 61. Into the box now, Eric Stamets. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. This one's down to third. Scooped up. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Now that so coming to the plate, Chris Owings. He's Great. one for two in the ball game. Owings. High in the air down the right field line. Right fielder is on the run, and he makes the catch in the corner. Now, now batting, batting Michael Tolia. He got under Michael one and popped out his Tolia. last time up. Yeah, Matty, it looked like he got fooled a little bit. A little bit out front, ended up popping oh. out. Expect him to be a little bit more leery of the breaking pitch this A.B. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. 3-1 count, tying run on the on-deck circle. You have to be very careful right here to make a quality pitch on three and one. Curveball, but a good job to lay off, and he works out the free pass. Now the one and one pitch. Curveball bounces, and this one gets away. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away, as that'll be scored a wild pitch. The two one. And this pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play. So the count goes to two and two now. Working for the punch out and the offering. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Throw in time and the side is retired. Striding forward now, Donnie Walton. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw on to first in time, one away. Now at the plate, Dom Thompson Williams he came across to score after doubling in his last at bat. And he's got to build off that last AB. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. He's set and the 2 1 pitch to 2 and 2 now. Getting late 4-2 our score as we play the eighth inning. Outside and a full count three and two. Hey they tried to tie him up on that last pitch so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work but I like the idea behind it. Skied in the air to straight away left. Daza will drift over to his right a few steps as he takes it for the second out. Now better. In now, Jake Shiner. He enters this at bat, one for two with a walk. Shiner. 
He set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Taylor Williams comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. All set to start the ninth in this one, and set to go as the third baseman, Fulton Welker. 1-1. Waves and misses for strike number two. Tying run stands on deck, but it'll only matter if the guy in the box can get on base. Yeah, and that has to be his mentality at the plate right now, Matt. He can't be the hero, so he needs to do what he can to give the guy behind him a chance to be the guy. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. At the plate, Drew Gutera. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Over at the knees, and that's the second strike. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two. But when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. Now batting, right fielder, Willie. Into the box now, Willie Abreu. Hit sharply on the ground. And that gets through, so he'll have his first base hit, make him one for four in the game now. Oh, and he's not going to make it to third as he's gunned down by the right fielder, and that's a tough second out. Joey Gerber gets the call here as he'll try and look for one out to finish this thing off. Into the box, Peter Mooney. And it's fouled away. And with about 32,000 in the building, they're on their feet now. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Great take right there, but the last thing you want to do is be called out on strikes to end the game. Ah, and he strikes him out to end it here as they were able to get the possible time run to the plate but could not cash in. Yeah, and in this game, you always try to find a way to be hopeful. They win the first game of a new month and are now looking to keep it rolling the rest of the way. Four to two, the final score tonight. Tacoma get their 20th home win this year. Justice Sheffield wins his fourth game out of the bullpen this year. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Pleasak, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter at MLB The Show. Fans are final line score. First for the victorious Radier. Four runs on eight hits. No errors. They left four men on base. For the Isotopes, two runs, seven hits. No errors. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, two and